Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Judith Patterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas. And today I wanna to show you how to make a fun pinwheel tower card. Have you seen these yet? They are so cool. There's, um, they stand up like a pinwheel. There's like four sides to them. But the neatest thing is they will fit in a standard size envelope. So I just think that that is too cool. Um, trying to get my screen up the way I need it because I took some notes earlier on like dimensions and things for this card because there are quite a few um, pieces for this one. So I'm using Flirty Flamingo and I do need to grab my inks real quick. I'm using Flirty Flamingo um, and Just Jade as the only two inks that I'm using on this whole card. So let me grab those. Okay, I was so excited about making this card that I am... Um, didn't even grab my supplies really quick. So I'm using the color and contour stamp set. Love, love, love the stamp set. It is amazing. It even says amazing. It actually says you are amazing, but we could just use the amazing part if we wanted to. So I have a whole bunch of blocks on my desk and I'm just gonna grab these stamps and go ahead and start loading up my blocks. Um, I'm using, actually I'm using the You Are Amazing stamp. Um, I'm also using both flower stamps and this is a two-step stamp. So if you're not familiar with two-step stamps, this, so you stamp the outline. So I'll use, um, and actually the way this one does, a lot of times you stamp the outline without stamping off and then you would stamp the inside stamping off first but I am just gonna stamp them both solid because this one just naturally stamps lighter. Um, so a two-step stamp is you stamp the outline and then you stamp the inside. Um, so I'm using that. I'm also using the inside of the tall flower and of course the tall flower. And then I'm using it even the, oh, I didn't realize my face was so close. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to get right up there. Um, anyway, the, <clears throat> I'm even using the tiny little flower bud. So this little one, I don't know if you can see that. So lots of stamps on this one. I'm also using the coordinating scalloped contours dies. And I've already taken them out of their package and put them on my magnetic sheet here in a pocket. So I'm gonna be using this die here and both of the flower dies. Oh, and the smallest, ah, the smallest rectangle right here. I'll be using that as well. All right, so let me go ahead and flip my camera around and I can start stamping. I always think it's important to stamp first because then um, the ink can be good and dry before you're messing with cutting it out and and pasting it together and stuff. Okay, so this is our set and we're using both of these stamps, both of these stamps, these two, and you're absolutely amazing, plus this little splatter stamp, and thank you for everything. I almost forgot to get that one out. This is a photopolymer set, so cleanup is really easy. Um, I always like to use either my chamois that you can purchase online through my shop, um, or I like to just run these underwater, and I have a soft toothbrush that I use to scrub them with. I've gotten a lot better recently about cleaning my stamps as soon as I use them. Um, but for a while there, I was really bad about, I would leave them overnight sometimes even. Oh, it's terrible, terrible. Okay, and the other thing that I'm using today are some post-it notes. So I've already cut these out with that um, flower die. And I just cut, I think I cut four of them out all at the same time. So I'm going to start with 
a five and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. This is, like I said, it's flirty flamingo cardstock. I'm also using the Pattern Party DSP. My markers are not in the right spot, but I'm going at three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, two and a quarter inches, and three inches. I'm gonna grab my bone folder, get these nice and creased. And you know what? I said I was going to stamp first, and I went straight into folding. So this is the center of our pinwheel card. And then I've got three other sheets that measure two and three quarters by four and a quarter. But before I get to those, let me grab all these white bits out. And we'll start stamping on these. I remember what each one is for, so I need my two biggest ones. Set those aside. Okay. Just need something to put under here while I stamp so I don't get ink on my desk. I'm going to start by stamping with this long flower on a stem and again I'm using just jade I think this is just jade with flirty flamingo is beautiful and since we're using photopolymer stamps um, you can see right through them which makes placement super easy This card is deceptively simple to make. There's a lot of pieces, but they're really easy to put together. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, <clears throat> let me grab my outline, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it in just jade. Then I'm gonna do the inside with Flirty Flamingo. It takes a minute for me to remember how to um, line this up, but what I look for are these two petals that are together. So I'll hold that up and you can see it. So these two here that are together, I line those up with these two here that are together when I'm stamping. I'm going to take another sheet of this and stamp you're absolutely amazing again using um, just jade and then I'm going to take this sheet and stamp thank you for everything I'm going to use my die as a guide because I don't want to stamp too high up or too low. So I'm stamping that. And then right next to it, again, I'm using just jade. And then flirty flamingo for the inside piece. Okay, so let's see what we've got stamped so far. There's those, this one, this sentiment, and then 
So for this one, I'm going to grab another sheet of this. This one's fun. So I'm going to use my Just Jade to do some outlines of um, the flowers here. Then I'm going to grab those post-its and I'm going to cover these flowers. And did you see how fast I did that? So there's a trick. I looked for these two petals that are really skinny. So you find those and then you can just quickly line it up. And look, I got a little bit of ink there. Don't ask me where that came from. I do not know. But it's okay because now I'm going to take this. I forgot to get it out. I'm going to take the splatter piece. And I'm going to take the Just Jade again. And I'm just going to go all around the card with this splatter bit. And I'm going to put a big splatter on that so it covered it up. There we go. And then I'm going to take that flirty flamingo and stamp the inside of these flowers again. It's a little harder because, oh, nope, there it is. I was going to say that the um, two petals together weren't showing, but they were. I have spent so much time this weekend watching... Um, Okay, so this one they're not showing. That looks good. So I was spending a lot of time watching organizing videos. I went through, probably in the last week or week and a half, my oldest daughter and I watched the home edit on Netflix. We finished that last night. And on YouTube, I've been watching Clutterbug. And I, I don't know if you saw my video a week or two ago where I was talking about how excited I am to have my little cart beside my desk totally organized with um, my cardstock and my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and all my paper pumpkin stamps are totally organized now. I'm really excited about all of that. And um, so now I'm just, I'm wanting to declutter everything and organize everything and... I think we have lots to do in the next couple of weeks. I don't know if anybody else gets excited about that like I do, but um, it is fun. So I need to cut this piece two inches by three and one eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna do it this way, I'm gonna go Three and an eighth by two, but you know what? I'm going to cut a little off of both sides because that will get rid of that. Um, there was a smudge on one side and an oops on the other side, so that took care of that pretty easy. So now I'm going to grab my. <clears throat> mini stamp cut and emboss machine and I'm going to cut out these flowers okay so this one goes here it is No, that's not it. So again, there's these two very thin pieces. That's what I was looking for. 
I'm gonna grab a bit of washi tape so it doesn't move around on here while I'm cutting these precise images out. larger one cut out, the one with the stem. So when I first decided to do this card like this, I wasn't sure how it was going to work out having the outline in green, but then I thought about it and flowers are typically green around their actual flowering part. The plant itself is green, so it made total sense. I think I'm at a weird angle. I'm having a hard time getting this one lined up. Maybe that's good. pieces together. There we go. So I'm going to use this middle bit to cut out the sentiment, the you are amazing sentiment. And then I'll use the, um, the larger rectangle to cut out the other piece. So this one, I get the edge right here really close to the letters, but I'm not covering the letters. I'm just using them to help line it up and make sure it's really straight. Then you can see that the um, the bottom of the G, which a lot happened in there. There we go. The bottom of the G is right on the edge of that circle that's going to be punched out. So not too shabby. It's centered up pretty perfectly. But it's important to scooch those top letters as close to the edge of that die as you can get. this one out with this. I'm going to center it a little better than that. There we go. For this card, so usually I use maybe some embellishments or for sure stamp and dimensionals but this card has so many layers to it i decided to not add to the thickness by adding ribbon or dimensionals or any kind of embellishment like that so it's a pretty simple card um, just with a lot of pieces and i put that up a little too soon i need one more of these frames this one just needs to be empty. And I do recommend for the base part of this card using Stampin' Seal Plus if you have it. Um, or liquid glue is pretty strong also, but I really recommend the Stampin' Seal Plus for a good strong hold on this one. I'm grabbing mine. Okay, so I grabbed my silicone mat, and my Stampin' Silk Plus, I'm just going to go along the edge, 
fold that in so it's not hanging off the edge. Fold this so that it closes and is even. And then make sure it's it's um, down well. Good. Okay, so now that's an extra one. Okay, so I'm gonna keep put in the stamp and seal plus on each of these um, sections on my center. I'm gonna line it up to where it's even. And it looks like I cut this piece a little tall. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna line them all up. I don't know if I'm gonna end up with some other tall pieces. I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, I skipped a section. I thought that was looking weird. Okay, I need to make sure I get some glue down there. And yes, somehow I cut all of these a skosh too tall. And I almost put that on backwards. So making sure that's lined up good. Put it down. Okay, this one's the right size. Interesting. That one is absolutely perfect. Okay. I'm just going to smooth all this down one more time. And I am going to see if I can trim the tops of these off with my trimmer really quick. It may be too thick, but maybe not. wanting to miss right there in the middle so I'm just going to grab my paper snips and there we go just had to find the right angle to finish trimming oh to finish trimming that off there we go easy breezy not too difficult of a fix Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting all of these panels together. So I'm going to start with this one. I want this one to be my front. So you can either continue using stamp and seal or um, liquid glue, whatever your favorite kind of adhesive is. Mine is the liquid glue. I like it because it's just a little more forgiving. It gives you just a couple of seconds to make adjustments if needed. And I quite often need that. <laughs> I don't typically get it perfect the first time I set it down. So this one, all it needs is this piece of background from, or background, designer series paper on the background. This is from Pattern Party. It's a host set. It is a huge set of patterned paper and beautiful paper, fun paper, great colors. It's one of my all-time favorite um, designer series paper packs. 
And I love that it's such a large set of paper too because I've been using it for months and I still have plenty. So we're trying to make sure that this is fairly centered up, you know, top, bottom, side to side, and that the tops and bottoms are even with this panel I've already put down. Okay, so with this next one, I'm going to glue this piece on to this frame. I love that take your pick tool. It um, helps me to pick things up easily without getting my fingers all messy. So I did that, let's see, I think I did it two and, or three and three sixteenths. Yeah, you might want to drop that down a smidge and do, or no, I didn't do 3 sixteenths, I did 3 eighths, but you might want to drop down to 5 sixteenths. So 3 and 5 sixteenths for that piece. I think that would center it up just a little bit better, not have you so close to the edge of that frame. So this one is going to get centered here. That is not centered. There we go. And then add a black and with white polka dot panel to the skinny side on the left. Okay, so the next one the black panel again on the right. So I'm gonna put all of these dimensions on my blog tomorrow. Um, so check back and where you can grab those really quickly um, if you would like them. But I'll put all the, the dimensions and the instructions over there on my blog so that they're easy to just glance at. Look at that. I accidentally got a dot right in the middle of that circle. How funny. So I'm going to use the white with black polka dot panel on the other side of this one. Then this is the panel that I would will write on when I decide to send this card to someone. And if you um, if you want to give this to somebody without it being a thank you card, you could always leave thank you for everything off, and um, just put the flower bed down in the corner, and then you would have this whole panel here to write on. Put this last panel on the left, and then I'll show you what it all looks like once it's standing up. So you can stand it like this, and all four sides are decorated. 
So you would start with this as your front and then flip to this one, flip to this one, and this is your writing page. Of course, you could add other things. I just think the polka dots are pretty the way they are. I like polka dots. Um, and I, th I think sometimes simple is good. So, but of course there are so many ways that you could decorate this, but then look, I have the standard envelope here and it just slides right in and ready to go. I think that that is genius. This was not my idea. I got this from another demonstrator, but I um, sure think it's a fun fold for sure. So thanks for watching my video. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. I'll be going live on Facebook Thursday at 3.30, and I would love to have you join me there. Happy stamping!